In today's video, we'll show you how to integrate your Sage1 payroll transactions for the month through to Sage1 Accounting. The first thing you'll need to do is set up the correct expense and liability accounts in Sage1. To set up an account, you'll go to the Accounts menu and there you can add an account. We recommend you set up the following accounts in Sage1 as follows. Make sure you select the correct financial category. You need to set up the salary and liability accounts in Sage1 that are relevant to your business. Some recommended accounts that you could set up to record your payroll costs would be Expense accounts Salary expense Commission expense Overtime Bonuses PAYE expense UIF expense STL expense and Medical Aid expense. Some recommended current liability accounts would be Salary Control Account, PAYE Liability, UIF Liability, SDL Liability and Medical Aid Liability. You can group the three SARS liabilities together into one account if you like. That's all the setup you need to do in Sage1 Accounting. Now we will show you how to set it up in Sage1 Payroll. You need to link your payroll software with your accounting software. To do so, click on Explore, Company Information and select the Modules option. Select the Sage1 Accounting Integration checkbox and enter your username and password. And select the Save button. The next thing you need to do is select your Sage1 Accounting company. Navigate to Explore, Cycle Information and select Sage1 Accounting. The values of the payroll cycle where you are currently logged in can be posted to a company that you have set up in Sage1 Accounting. The companies you have set up in Sage1 Accounting are listed in the drop down. Select the correct company from the list. Linking your accounts in Sage1 Payroll. The financial values in your payroll need to be debited and credited to specific accounts. The payslip definitions you have linked in your payslip definition template or any definition with a financial value will be listed on this view. Click on the drop down list next to the definition you want to link. The list of accounts you have set up in Sage1 Accounting will display. Select the correct account from the list in both the debit account and credit account columns. Click save once you have selected your accounts. Click on undo to reverse any changes you have made. If the account you want to link the definition to is not listed, please log into Sage1 Accounting to add the account. Once you are ready to post your journal, click on the view journal history button to view your journal history. All the payroll periods for which you can post journals will display here. Click on the Post Journal Entries button. You can post the journal for the current and history payroll periods. Only periods that are rolled over after the module has been activated can be posted. A Post Journal Entries pop-up will open. Click on the Generate button. If you receive a validation message saying not all definitions with values have been linked to a debit and credit account, the account linking screen will display. Definitions with values that are not linked to a debit and credit account are indicated with a red exclamation mark. Link these definitions then click save. Click on the generate button again. A summary and detailed audit report is generated. Please check the values that will be posted and the accounts to which they will be posted. If the values are being posted to the correct accounts, click in the checkbox next to I have checked the audit report and want to post the journal. Then click the post journal button. This is a direct post to your journal in Sage1 Accounting. Ensure that you reconcile before posting the journal. That should clear up any of your questions you have relating to posting journals in Sage1 Payroll. Thank you for watching.